plant cells and animal cells. Cell theory. All organisms are made up of one or more cells. And then number two, all cells come from pre-existing cells. And number three, the cell is a basic unit of structure and organization that performs life functions. In 1839, Theodore Swan, a zoologist who concluded that all animals are made of cells. Okay. In 1810 to 1882, he theorized that animals develop from cells that divide into new cells. And then therefore, all animals are built from dividing cells just like plants. That was according to Theodore Swan. Next, we have Matthias Jacob Scliven. In 1838, he was a botanist at the University of Jena, Germany, and he stated that all parts of the plant's organisms are composed of cells. In 1858, by Rudolf Ludwig Karl Virchow, he noticed that the existence diseases in the organs and tissues come from affected cells. And he also stated that omnis cellula e cellula means all forms of organisms come from the pre-existing cells. The cell theory developed with the advent of technology. In a modern version, it includes the following. One, energy flow occurs within cells. Number two, heredity information or DNA is passed on from cell to cell. And number three, all cells have the same basic chemical composition. Electron transmission microscope is a microscope that contains extremely high resolution using an electron beam instead of a beam of light to illuminate the object of the study. Okay, plant cells class are considered as the basic unit of life in an all forms of organisms in the entire kingdom plantae. They are also considered as eukaryotic cells, which have a true nucleus, along with special structures called organelles that carry out different functions. They also have a cell wall that provides structural support. So class, these are the organelles that are found inside the plant cells. We have animal cells. Animal cells considered as the basic unit of life in all forms of organisms in the entire kingdom Animalia. They are also considered as a eukaryotic cells, meaning they have a true nucleus and specialized structures called organelles that carry out different functions. Okay, class, as you look at it, the plant cells and animal cells has uh, the same organelle, but take note there are parts or there are organelle in the plant cells na hindi nakikita sa animal cells and there are parts or organelles that can't be seen in the plant cells. Okay. Now we have compare and contrast of plant cells and animal cells. Plant cells have cell wall have large vacuole and has chloroplast flagella only in gametes while animal cell no cell wall small vacuole no chloroplast and definitely there is a flagella and then both of them plant cells and animal cells have mitochondrion Golgi apparatus rough and smooth in the plasmic reticulum nucleus cytoplasm and lastly, the ribosomes. There are three major parts of the cell. First, we have nucleus. Second, 
the cytoplasm, and the third, plasma membrane and cell wall. An organelle is a subcellular structure that has one or more specific jobs to perform in the cell, much like an organ does in the body. Among the more important cells organelles are the nuclei, which store and genetic information, mitochondria, which produce chemical energy, and ribosomes, which assemble proteins. An organelle means little organs is used to describe these tiny cellular structures. Okay, let's move now to the first parts and functions of the cell. We have nucleus. Nucleus class has parts, has chromatin, nucleolus, nuclear pores, and nuclear envelope. Nucle nucleus class serve as the controls and regulate the activities of the cell, example, the growth and the metabolisms. And it carries the genes, structures that contain the hereditary information. Nucleus also class is a part of the cell that can be observed easily. And nucleus serve as a control center of the cell, also labeled as the brain of the cell. And then nucleus class has DNA, okay, which means the oxyribonucleic acid means it exists in all living things that has the ability to make exact copies of itself. And nucleus class comprises the chromosomes, making in the barrier of the genetic information of all forms of an organism. And then we have nucleus is where the subunits of ribosomes are produced. We also have ribosomes, okay? Ribosomes is the one that synthesizes protein. And ribosomes also can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. We have also organelle, which is considered as or considered as cytoplasm. A cytoplasm, it aids in movement of genetic material and products of cellular respiration within the cell. It helps also to fill out the cell and keep organelles in their place. It gives the cell its shapes. Okay, it aids to dissolve waste product. And then another, this cell, the so cytoplasm, it looks like a jelly substance that surrounds the organelles of the cell. We also have plasma membrane, okay? The plasma membrane class serve as the skin, okay, of the cell that encloses the cell parts from the outside environment. And plasma membrane class, it allows the to entry or it allows the entry of the materials or materials inside the cell and it also where waste exists or exit rather and then plasma membrane class or the cell membrane provides protections for all or for a cell it also provides a fixed environment inside of the cell we also have mitochondria Okay, is where cellular respiration takes place. These mitochondria provides a product of cellular respiration process is cellular energy. Okay, this cellular energy is used by the other parts of the cell. So the proper tagline for the mitochondrion is none other than the powerhouse of the cell. We also have endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum, or called as the ER, serve as a synthesizer, sorter, and transporter of materials such as protein and lipids. Endoplasmic reticulum class categorized into two, the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. When we say rough endoplasmic reticulum, consists or contains of ribosomes and and its function is to synthesize and to transfer proteins and other materials throughout the cell. While the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes that attach to it, 
so there's no ribosomes but but its function of the smooth and the plasmic reticulum is to synthesize lipids such as phospholipids cholesterols carbohydrates and asteroids we also have Golgi apparatus or Golgi body or Golgi complex known as a Golgi apparatus is a cell organelle that helps process and serve as the packaging proteins and lipid molecules especially proteins destined to be exported from the cell okay name Camellia Golgi was discover the name of Golgi apparatus and it appears a series of stack membranes and Golgi apparatus are the one that process and the pack the proteins we also have lysosome okay the lysosome are considered as digestion machine of the cell so when the cell absorbs materials just like food from the outside the lysosome will cling to it and starts to break it down by releasing their enzymes so the complex sugar like carbohydrates and other big molecules will become simple molecules that can be used by the cell so the lysosome also break down unwanted materials like bacteria viruses and an old organelles we also have vacuole okay in plants the vacuole is large than the animals and vacuole class it makes the plant cell rigid and the plants stands upright because of the water in the vacuoles and then the vacuoles also class gives freshness of leaves and it's also due to the water in the vacuole and then vacuoles class in plants contain toxic or poisonous substances in other way around animal cells the vacuoles are small and considered as a vesicles okay vesicles stores water and food and also has the task of excretions of waste materials so vacuoles so small vacuoles in the animal cells and large vacuole in the plant cells we also have cell wall okay the cell wall is the outer lining beside the plasma membrane so this cell wall adds stability and protection to plant cells we also have chloroplast in plant okay so the chlorophyll is the chloroplast absorb light energy and convert it into chemical energy and allows plants to carry out the process of photosynthesis take note only plant cell has chloroplast animal cell does not have chloroplast because chloroplast absorb the lights from the sun and converts into energy or we called it photosynthesis when you say photo means light synthesis process and we also have ameloplasts are small organelles that are found only in the plants though they are colorless and not and not very well known they play an important role for plants so they appear as small round pockets filled with little bubbles and they're also found as a plant cells that stores starch okay we also have centrioles centrioles are present only in the animal cells but not present in the plant cells because centrioles are used for animal cells to reproduce and they release long stiff fibers called microtubules that split the cell apart during cell division and the central class has a functions that connected to the cell reproductions we also have peroxisomes peroxisomes contains an enzymes that oxidize certain molecules normally found in the cell so notably fatty acids and amino acids and we also have flagella so the functions of the flagella serve as the locomotion of the cell or it provides the movement for the cell or object moving by the cell so how do we know if the tail is flagella if it has a long fiber means flagella and if it has a short fibers means cilia